fall of 2011, we had the first prototypes. And we wrote in them, um, had our opinions on them, and then gave them to Nick. And the results were amazing. I mean, the first time um, Nick put the saddles on his horses, we could everybody could see the difference in the horses. Their performance increasing dramatically. Uh, horses that he could only play two, three minutes in a chucker, now playing the whole chucker. Their, the freedom in the shoulder, the movement. And they started out, you know, and they kind of every step went forward and more and more because it didn't hurt. I said, gosh, my horses are faster and these saddles, I can't believe it. You Just know? the freedom and, and they reach out and stop and turn. Uh, it, it was amazing to watch. It was a beautiful thing and Nick noticed it immediately. My horses are turning quicker, they're they're stopping, you know, they're stopping quicker. They're they're just they're in more comfort uh, and you're getting more speed out of them and, and also the horses are recovering a lot quicker. The horses, you know, after the chucker, if you wanted to bring that horse back, they're recovering a lot quicker, they're they're happier and they're they're much more content. You're getting a lot more movement in the shoulders, which for me as a professional polo player um, I find is a huge difference. I mean, you're, you're getting 10, 15, 20% more performance out of a horse because, not, because the saddle is not on top of the shoulders and it's alleviating a lot of pressure. And also, for me, one of the most important things is the recuperation. I mean, the horses are recuperating a lot quicker and, and that's very important in a polo game because a lot of times you want to use a horse in the first chucker and you want to be able to come and use that horse in the fourth or the fifth, you know, if it's one of your best horses. And recuperation time is very important. So. Uh, that is, is one of the, you know, for me, is, is one of the most amazing things about the saddle. The results of the production saddles were just mind-blowing. And even though they were only in them 10 days or two weeks before the horses were turned out for the season, um, the, the uh, performance was noticeably even better. And we were all amazed at just the difference in the prototype. And it led Nick to get MVP in the finals of the Piaget Consolation and Best Playing Pony on LaDonna. Remarkable com combination of the first season. Everybody involved has stories to tell on the, how the, the horses were affected by the, the uh, having saddles that fit properly and allowed them perform to perform to their maximum. Coming from, from the older saddles, we always had back, sore backs. That was the main main thing we noticed with the saddles, is the sore backs. They come back from the game, sore right behind, right behind where the saddle set and right on the withers. And with the prototype, we found there was no soreness, but with the prototype, we also found a little bit as the tree, we needed to, to adjust the tree a little bit to, to actually fit the type of wither. And now with the newer saddles, I mean, they set perfectly on the horse, and we found that 50% of our back problems coming back from each game were due to the saddles, and now we've totally cut that out, and the horse is performing much better. And when I warm up before a game, I get on a horse, and before it would take me two or three minutes almost just to get the horse comfortable enough to go out on a nice, easy canter. Some would be hunched over, some would, wouldn't even leave the trailer, and now I find I get on the, the saddle, and they walk right away. No, no difference at all getting on. Um, warming up wise, the horse is so much more fluid, it moves so much easier. You can see the shoulder movement in front of you. You can feel the horse ducking rather than scooting around. When Nick turns on the field, if Nick can turn two or three seconds faster than anyone else, that's giving him an edge on the field that no one, no one else is gonna have with, old, with other saddles. A horse turning out of the saddle and having the freedom to actually accelerate through it is huge. For one, one example, in our last game, Doña, our mayor Doña, who got best playing pony, ended up running twice from the back of the pack and passing everyone, scoring two beautiful goals. And then in the six, six minute mark, 6.15, somewhere around there when you think, Nick, get off of the horse, the horse has gotta be dead, gotta be dead, six and a half minutes into the chucker, blows by everyone, full length of the field and took the ball, passed everyone and scored with 15 seconds on the clock. I mean, no one could touch her. Donya, uh, Donya is a, a big, long mare. She has a huge galloping stride. Um, so her problems were more, the, the breaking and the shutting down was what made Donya very sore. She was constantly running through the bridle for Nick. 
And so we were upping the bit, making it stronger, 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 stronger. We even cut her feed at one point. We really were clutching at straws. Um, when we had the prototype saddle, the first thing we noticed was that because she's a big mare and she has a large shoulder, when Nick was, to sh was shutting her down, instead of the saddle jamming into the back of her shoulders and pushing her forwards and pushing her back into his hand, she was able to stop with her weight behind her. There was no sudden slam that came with the final stride. And again, when she accelerated, she was able to go. This is a big horse. It takes a, a lot of strength, physical strength, to move off of a standstill again for her, particularly if she's just shut down from a gallop. So once you take away that, that, that pressure or soreness or even that apprehension that it's coming, suddenly you have a much more fluid movement. And once that happened, she was lighter in Nick's hand, she was more accurate, she got tired less. Because a lot of the time they exhaust themselves trying to do the right thing and have this extra problem on top of it. And now that that's gone, it's a very clear line of communication between him and the horse. It's just a movement now. It's not so violent, it's not so, you know, you don't look like they came to a screaming halt and then had to be rushed out of that again. Now they just shut down and move away, shut down and move away. That's how it is. It's a, a lot more fluid movement. Nick has definitely got less pressure in his hand. He's able to, to stay in a position that is the, the dead center of, of, of gravity for them. So it's so easy for them to carry him that stopping is easier, accelerating is easier. They, they look and appear to be physically stronger and it's really just because you're not taking away from it. You're using everything they have for your benefit. The results of our quest have far exceeded my expectations, and I think all of us involved. Um, we've created a saddle that is truly revolutionary. Uh, the results that Nick has had with it this season have been outstanding. The changes in his horses have been remarkable. Recovering in half the time they were. In putting the saddle on the right place on the horse's back, you don't have to cinch him up so tight. The saddle's where it wants. The horse is happy. They can breathe better. They have better lung capacity. They're not stressed as much. So they like polo. I mean, to be a good polo horse, you have to like polo. But then they go out and do it anyway, even if there's discomfort. Now you've removed the discomfort. They can go out and they can have a ball and it, it, uh, it doesn't hurt them. So we look at this our job to really kind of share what we've learned in this process with everybody and show how a saddle, if it's fit properly, can increase performance 10, 15, 20 percent or sometimes dramatically more. We all learned a tremendous amount. Um, we saw that there were many things that even as polo players and saddle manufacturers and people that were interested in this, that, that we really weren't aware of how big the problem was and how important the opportunity was here for the horses, for players, for performance in the game. We realized even more how great the horses are and how they just give us so much. They give you 100% um, all the time, regardless. And so it, it's really a neat thing. It's a great thing for the horses. Uh, we all love our horses and uh, want to do the most we can. And um, this saddle is really making the horses happy. So